everyone and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB advanced test analyst we are in chapter 3 and we are still looking at the point 2 specification based techniques uh, we will be following uh, with the new technique here called as use case testing uh, we know that it is already being covered in the foundation we and learned a lot about this in the foundation level syllabus so you can look up the card and click on that if you would like to know the basics quickly to revise about use case testing so let me just quickly recall the basic and fundamentals of use case testing which we have covered in the foundation use case testing generally provides a transactional scenario based test that would emulate uh, intended use of the component or system specified by the use case so is it generally uh, represents a interaction between the actor and the system which is being created or which the user is trying to use or actor here generally represents the human users or, or any kind of external hardware or the component of the system which would be emulating the activities on the product or the application Use cases generally describe the interaction and are helpful to identify the defects related to interaction interfaces between the system and the different modules. So that's where we are uh, generally is helpful to derive the test cases for integration system and acceptance testing. It's just not applicable for component testing. So let's quickly move into the advanced level that what kind of questions you can expect and how the typical way of asking the question will be from the board so let's look at one of the sample question here right now on the screen we have got a scenario here with us which is all about easy travel card reloading or loading certain amount on the easy travel card now quickly let me tell you what is easy travel uh, it is just like a metro card or maybe a bus transit or bus transfer cards so generally making when you make use of smart cards and you try to load certain money to use it further for your travel so uh, the scenarios will be always user friendly so that you would have worked on it one or the other way or probably you would be knowing about it uh, which will be asked in the examination so here if you look at the question first of all uh, it says easy travel is a card which is used to paying uh, journeys on the buses and undergrounds which means metros the user can store credit to the card at the easy travel loading machines and system automatically deducts the fee of the journey while the user shows the card to the card reader on a bus or at underground stations you are working on the easy travel system maintenance project and the following use case has been given to you for reviewing use case add to easy travel balance from credit card id uh, use case id is uc2020 something and purpose is uh, user is increasing the balance on their easy travel card and the actors are users and system now look at your right we have got the main scenario being elaborated to you so if you can quickly recall the points from the foundation uh, we always have one successful path uh, which will be the main part about the particular uh, scenario so whatever steps is involved between the user and the system to finally load the uh, amount to the screen so I'll quickly uh, re read this for you here so first of all the user tries to place the card on the reading plate system uh, responds with few options like a query card balance or add to balance or the card so uh, whenever you see use cases generally uh, one use case will always have one main path if there are several other options for any of the parameter then it will be covered in the different use case so it will be marked that this part of it will be covered in a different use case so query card balance is not a part of the scenario so we have specified a separate use case then what if the user selects add to balance then we continue further like user chooses add balance system asks the amount you mentioned the amount system asks what kind of payment method are you using so again there are two uh, options for that like cash cash or credit card so cash is a separate use case credit card is what we are looking into the scenario user selects the credit card goes into the credit card slot and inserts the credit card enters the amount to be charged user confirms and then so on and finally removes the card and then the you know, system returns to the main menu also to notice that it will be in a sequential activity like one two three four that means it's a sequential operation which happens between user and the system another thing which is being marked here is e1 and e2 so e 
are basically to represent the exceptions where maybe a system can reject your uh, operation or maybe the activity which you're performing. So when you say E1, you can read at the bottom what are the exceptions all about. So user can stop the process by review, removing the easy travel card from the reading plate till step eight. So till eight, step number eight, uh, E1 is possible that you can remove the card and you don't want to continue with the process. But once you have inserted the credit card, there's another exception called as EDU, which means if the user does not accept the amount to be charged, that means you, maybe you do not probably enter your PIN or you do not want to be charged for that, you can also uh, terminate the process. Uh, that's E2 because this is a different case. So you already been into the transaction. Now your credit card has to be valid or any other thing. So all these information will be provided to you in the question. Now let's come back to the uh, scenario. Precondition, user must have an easy travel card and a credit card. End user, easy travel card must be added with the balance. Now what they want to know is how many test cases are required to achieve the minimum coverage for this use case. Now it's very simple and easy to understand now. One of the things will be the main path, successful positive test case. So right from one to step 15, you will be operating one successful transaction and you call it as one case, one test case. Other five will be uh, here with the E1s which are marked like E1, E1 at step four, E1 at step six and E1 at eight and then E2 at 10. So if you see, we have got five exceptions here. So that has to be tested in terms of negative that if the person removes the card, does the transaction terminate or not? So we will have all together six test cases as the right answer. So one for the successful path and one for the uh, exceptions one and another for exception two. So we have four exception one, so four test cases and plus one for E2. So total six test cases. Now, if you're wondering about what about the separate use case, of course, those will be the different use cases and you would have different set of test cases for that. So each use case is identified with a unique ID and we probably always look for precisely testing each one of them separately. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I think that was quite clear and easy to understand about use cases testing here and how to derive the test cases for use cases. Should you have any further query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and we'll be able to elaborate further if you need any help. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context about this topic. Uh, thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.